We believe that we can guess any group of people and we're so sure that we're putting our own money on the line. So we've gathered a group of people all claiming to be ex-convicts but the trick is only one of them's telling the truth and the rest of them are liars. Round by round we'll vote out one person at a time and if we vote out all the liars we win. But if we guess wrong the liars win and a cash prize is split between them. Welcome to False Identity. Oh, hello. Oh, oh God. This one, Bob, is cold. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you see that brother? That brother? Uh, oh. Yeah, the brother at the end's got the gel bop. <laughs> yeah, I clocked him. Number six still. Gel bop, you telling you I was there. Pentonville did four years. Um, you know what I mean? I was in Cat A. Life was hard them times. If we say anything that annoys you, please let us know. We'll try to refrain from doing that. Um, God willing, you are reformed. <laughs> because if not, then RIP the man. All right, so. Hold on, can we that siren? No, oh, so one of you have already done a kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was to do Guess the Convict, but I'm hearing police sirens going on. I'm feeling pretty paranoid. Number five, why did you do it? They commissioned to do a job, because I used to be still car. He's a hitman! He's a hitman! <laughs> this guy sounds like a criminal. He is a criminal. You hear that accent? You can't fake stuff like that. I believe Tony. I think Tony looks like a man who can steal cars. Just the way he's wearing his jacket right now. I just don't like it. Man's Italian. Play, watch, probably watched Godfather last night before he came out and got a bit gassed. What did you guys do? What did you, how, let's, let's start with your story. What Breaking you and entering and uh, stabbing. I believe that. I believe her. She looks like a woman that could break and break into people's houses. Wow. Stab it. You're out here on the she road. She got in my way. All right, so what? You what? She, she got, got in my way. So you have no, you don't seem to have any remorse? No. How, how many years? I only got two and a half. Two years for breaking and entering with a weapon and also stabbing someone. You're coming in the yard, first of all, that's a bad thing. Yeah, you got a knife on you. I'll be honest, this guy's waffling. Just get off my screen from early. What type of time were you facing? I mean, it was supposed to be about seven years. Um, but I've done some good deeds in my past, so they sort of uh, let, let a few things What slide. good deeds could rectify stabbing? Her story is falling apart, and we're only 3.2 seconds into filming. So I think we can automatically rule out this lady. My brother in the back. You look like you've never committed a crime. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you pay taxes on time, never done nothing yeah. bad. So not, just... not necessarily. Oh. Oh, cool, so what, what, what have you done? Fraud. Oh. oh. That one, I believe. I stole 100k over five years from my brother's company. Your yeah, your brother. Brother, your brother, yeah. How could you what? do that to your own brother? Yeah, so I've got three, two siblings. What are their names? The names are Sabina and Stephen. What's your name? Those names what's your name? What's your name, Mr? <laughs> my name's Jimmy B. I can tell just by looking at Jimmy that he's a pussy, so there is no way he's done any crime. I've automatically ruled him out. Man like Jimmy B. He was my tutor back in the day, bro. What was he talking about? This brother looked like the most he's done is arrive late to the shoot. Sometimes forgets to shave in the morning. You think this brother done crime, bro? It's for a crime for him to even be here, bro. I believe him. He looks like a fraudster. You're, you look very interesting. She looks like Thanks. a serial killer. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your name? Carol. Carol, and what have you done? Smuggling drugs. Right, what kind of drugs? Dizepan. Are you on that drug right now? <laughs> Carol is an interesting one, yeah? The witch lady could be possible of doing anything. See, I met this guy in Gibraltar, and I suffer from anxiety, flying, okay. and this guy um, I won't mention his name. Is his name Jimmy B, by any chance? <laughs> um, so I told this guy that I suffer from anxiety and he said, oh, I should have some diazepam. Yeah, and he gave me a whole load um, and said, oh, you a know... A load where? Huh? Where, where did the load go? That sounds What crazy. kind of load are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, <bro>? load <laughs> I'm just interested. No, this guy's talking so about So then he tried to smuggle it overseas? Well, I didn't know it was smuggling. I thought it was legal. How does she know so much about this drug? The fact she knew so much about it, she, she might be an addict. How long did you do for that? Um, 18 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought she was gonna That's come in and say, she killed eight man. <laughs> Brother, um, what's your name? Sam. Sam, what did you do, bro? Uh, I was down for arson. Arson? That's a That's serious one. That's Yard. That is a serious one, because I'm just reading this book right now, and it's actually pretty interesting. Arson Wenger's book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so what did you ban? Hotel room. Dry service, let's go ahead. No, it was, it was a, a long time ago. I was very, very drunk. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, how long did you do for that? Well, I was um, sent down for six months, but I only served 
nine weeks. Sam's interesting because he seems very remorseful for his crimes. So I'm looking at him right now as, as high potential. So you got a bunch of loonies then. One, one that got bad for 18 days, one burning down the whole hotel. I believe him. And uh, number six. <laughs> yes, my brother, what did he do? Serious crime, some serious uh, crimes. So you can't mention what you done? Just, just some uh, stuff, a lot of serious stuff. Honestly, if you've done a mad thing, you don't obviously want to speak about the mad thing. So I reckon I vibes with him. He looks like a criminal. I believe him. So now I'm at a situation where I believe everyone and um, they all look like criminals to me. Tell me this, brother. How long did you do? 17 years. Seven. Okay, 17, right? We'll save him for next yeah. round. Save him for next he, round. He needs to, we need to have a chat with him. Honestly, number one, you look like a lovely lady. I'm sure you do a lot of community work. I don't um, think you stabbed anyone. Yeah, I don't think you killed well, anyone. Well, it wasn't exactly a machete that I don't know with, do you know what I mean? Mm. I just went down the road of breaking into people's houses. This one girl unfortunately got in the way um, and I just grabbed anything I could to get out of there and I still got caught. What did you end up with? Uh, it was just a fork. I grabbed it off the side as she was running up to me and I just stabbed her in the stomach. <laughs> Janine, it's over. What was your name, sorry? Um, Susan. Okay, Shelley, listen. I reckon you are not a convict, so my vote is with you. Right, okay. I'm with Nico. I don't think you're the convict. Tell me why I shouldn't vote you. Um, well, that's down to you, really. I'm just telling you my story. You asked me a question, I asked. What's the name of the prison you're staying in? Um... Um... Yeah! <laughs> 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 uh, chill out. You didn't go to prison. You're an actor. We're paying you to be here, yeah? Shelley completely crumbled. She noticed she was getting clocked, so she completely abandoned her whole story. Sorry, Shelley, I'm sure you're a decent actor. Well, clearly not, because we all saw straight through you. Shame on you, Shelley. <laughs> all right, so, um, <laughs> Shelley Ann, we're going to have to get rid of you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Goodbye. Yeah, all right. You're too nice of a woman. Don't stab the, the cameraman. <laughs> 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 I'm with AJ. AJ's cold. Wait, listen, I know you're enjoying the video and I'll let you get back to it in a second. After you smash the likes, because we want to hit 200,000 likes on this video, please. And if you could subscribe too, that would be great because I feel like a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. All right, round two. It's time to find the convict. Listen, my brother, what was your brother's company name? JB Finances. Jimmy B? <laughs> Why is his brother's finance named oh. after him? I think the only crime he's done is calling himself Jimmy B. So is he Jason B? Correct. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is he agreeing with you so quick? All right, so JB Finances, where's actually, I found it. Um, right here. <laughs> so where, where is it based in? <laughs> based in London, Hammersmith. Hammersmith, I said it's not based in uh, Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go on to number six, because I'm actually quite interested in you, brother. Jason. What's your name? <laughs> Stephen. Stephen. All right, we are kind of interested to see like what you've actually done. So can, is it possible to, I'm not trying to pressure you, by the way. If you don't want to say anything, don't say anything. Serious violence, violent crime. He's speaking in code. He's speaking in code. He doesn't want to say. So did you get done for GBH? No. Steven's not saying what he did. Do you know why? Because he doesn't know. He is not a convict. Number four is odd stuff. You are reformed, right? Yeah. So you will never it's, do that again? Uh, never. It's the only thing I've ever done. Quickly, what prison was it at? Wilmer Scrubs. Wilmer Scrubs? That's I lived near there. I was there. Well, what year were you in there? Uh, it's 2008. What was your cell number? 127. I was in when we scrubbed in 2008, and my son number was 127. I remember your shits, man. <laughs> it's so funny. I like him. You're going to stay for a little bit. I want to go back to uh, Godfather, Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he don't like that. He don't like that one. <laughs> Just a joke, like I said. Let me try again. So, grew from Despicable Me. Um, what I'm saying is, I'm actually gassed we managed to get grew from Despicable Me on here. Um, obviously, he shows the crimes he does on that. I'm gassed we got him on. But it's got to go in places, guys. We did it, yes. Uh, do you regret the crimes which you've done? At the end of the day, car are insurance. Yes, it's a crime, but it's not like killing somebody. How long were you in prison for? Six years. So, the six years, how many times did you drop the soap? Oh, <laughs> no. It, like, it can be very slippery. No, wait, wait, six you years for robbing 100 racks? Huh? That's excessive. <laughs> Six years of oh, robbing your brother's oh, company. The system is not fair. I say Jimmy B goes now, and then we figure out from the rest of them. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy B needs to go right now. Um, the other guy that was staying in your cell with you, what was his name? What do you want, his full name or just the first name? Just first name. Mark. Mark, and what was his last name? Johnson. Mark Johnson. So you know his name? The most basic name, name I've basic. ever heard. Mark Johnson, JB, Susan, Sabrina, whatever his name was. This guy's crap at making up names.
He's horrible and his outfit is even worse. I'll be honest, I'm happy to get rid of uh, Jimmy B. Jimmy B, I'm sorry, man. I'm sure you're a great guy. You're too, you're too nice of a guy to be, to be a criminal. I think it's time for you to go, Jimmy. Thank you very much, Thanks Jimmy. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it, Thank you. Cool. And then number four. All right, so you're saying you spent 17 years, but you're not really telling us what you've done. So can you tell us, please? It's a case of what I didn't do, organised crime. Were you in a gang? Yes. We finally got a yes out of him. I want to talk to Mr. Fake Accent. Um, so you're from Italy. Did you say what? Fake oh. accent. I said you've got a fake accent. I got a fake accent. Yeah. OK. As proof, speak some Italian to me. Please. Posso parlare in italiano perfettamente. That's cold, that's cold. That's, that's, cool. that's, cool. that's, cool. that's, that's not Italian. That's not Italian, that's Yoruba. That's Yoruba. That's Yoruba. What? That's Yoruba. What are you talking about? That's Nigerian. Uh, if you don't know what you're talking about, just shut up. <laughs> I've just been told to shut up by a potential ex-convict. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I might do. But I feel like I might become a convict after today because I'm not going to have that. Sharky has just been cussed to his face and he's just sat down and let it happen. What's that tell you, boys and girls? Sharky's a pussy and he doesn't know how to stand up for himself. Watch if that happened to me. I would get out and probably knock him out right there and then. All right, so um, what, what cat did they put you in? Category? Cat C. Carol? C. C, yeah, good C. one. Yeah, yeah, same one for I was category A, yeah, I was the highest uh, category. So you went cat C for Dyson Pound for 19 days? Um, 18 days. 18 days, but um, cat 18 C. days in the same place where. No, cat, you, you'd be in cat D. Yeah, we have to, that's it. And um, Kenny took it off, so. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a free man? When, when 12 years. Sentence? Huh? 12 years. So 12 years ago is when you were. How long have you been a free woman after the 18-day sentence? <laughs> <laughs> you are a flirt. <laughs> I think Carol's got a crush on me. I didn't want to say it, you know, I would like to be humble, but call me a flirt. I didn't even say anything, I didn't even say anything, just call me a flirt. I'm clearly not interested, you can see, and she just wants me. How long has it been for you? Uh, it's over 25 years now. Well, how old were you when you got arrested? But the, the particular car, I was 26. I want to quickly just ask everyone the same question. Craziest thing you've seen in prison? It's the, um... The first time your cellmate does a sh in, in your cell. <laughs> That's yeah, the craziest thing you've seen. That must be horrible. Wait, wait. To be fair, that is that is a normal thing in prison, is it not? So why is why was that the craziest thing? If you were in prison for a while, surely you would have seen someone, you would have seen a fight, or I don't know, someone dropped the soap. You know how it is in prison. Why is that the most outrageous thing you've seen? Your time in prison? Crazy thing? I suppose. Lots of naked women. Oh, that sounds like a great That's prison. Definitely. I need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a ceiling falling down. In 17 years. <laughs> hey, 17 years. I was in a place and I see a ceiling falling down. In the Cat A prison. Yeah, yeah. Sure I'll be honest, yeah, there. he's he's capping now. No, I don't believe in no more. <laughs> I can't lie. Um, the Don that said the ceiling falling down, no way in hell. Is he saying the truth? If the scariest thing number six has seen is a ceiling falling down, then imagine living as AJ Shabil because his room is crumbling every single minute and second of the day. All right, well, Car Carol is capping. You think so? Yeah, yeah, no way. I think he is. What? You, I think, yeah. yeah no, no, you are, you're, 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 I actually yeah. think he's capping. Hey, someone take this guy. Oh, what's capping? Capping means uh, talking rubbish. Lying. Yeah. Lying. Um, Lying. Yeah. Flirt. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who do you like the most out of us five? Him. Oh, is that based on looks or are your eyes working? He's got that bit of charisma. <laughs> yeah, you, you, He's not spoken this whole video. <laughs> he doesn't need to speak though, does he? Why is she picking Kenny? I thought we had something going on. I, mean, I know I said I wasn't interested, but I'm kind of interested now. Why is she picking Kenny? He's not even said a word. All right, listen, Carol, listen, I'm into a bit of a, you know, MILF action. I don't mind you liking me. You spell my line anytime. I know the rest of the guys are jealous, okay? Yeah, so I, obviously I clocked, um, about Carol, that Dizapam is in her system car. She's not using her eyes. Kenny, who do you vote for? Him. So you don't know this game. Yeah, <laughs> Nicole, who do you vote for? Carol. I do want to keep her for the vibes. This is true, yeah, she is vibes. She's vibes. She's vibes. She's vibes. I retract my vote and I'm putting it straight on Mr. 17 years. Yeah, 17 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not giving, he hasn't given us any information. Yeah, yeah. why? Right, 17 so, years. Um, yeah, um, no, um, yeah. 17 no, years, I saw three seasons for one, lad. Right, <laughs> Stephen, um, you were in a catty prison and the crazy thing you saw in 17 years was a ceiling malfunction. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I've seen that in Halston. Stephen, I, I've seen that in my own gaff. Get him out! I've been saying he's a fraud since the first round. I'm done with you. Wasted our time. He's not answering any of our questions. Get him out. So are we changing our votes and going for Stephen? Yeah. Are we going yeah. for Stephen? Um, please leave. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys, Steven. Watch out for the ceiling, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, as you guys know, we're just keeping here for the vibes. Um, I know she's never been to prison, but she's got a little funny character, so I'm the keeper. So yeah, we're gonna go for round four. Um, let's find the ex, uh, God willing, reform convict. Do you guys make any friends in prison? Any friends in prison? No, uh, I mean, cellmate was, you get along with them, but you don't, you don't, you're not friends. He is 100% the convict. I could see it in his eyes. I'll be honest, he could be a guanin actor though. Yeah. He could be a guanin no, actor. Then he will be a nuts actor. I'll be honest, he deserved the piece. Well, did, did you go straight to jail? Or did you like have a court case or anything like that? Cold. Unfortunately, they caught me on the day. I had a fake registration. I got a fake uh, drive license. Uh, but I didn't work out. I'm so happy you got caught. You weren't good enough for your job. That's why you got caught. No, because the, it was the beginning of the digital era. You know, back in the days, uh, police only got a phone. I'd have to phone to see if it was registered. That was digital. When Tony started to say that um, when he used to steal cars, the digital era back then was, wasn't great, it started to make sense that all that knowledge was because he may be the ex-convict. So you said you've been doing crimes for 20 years, you got caught at 26. So 26 minus 20. What was the chance? Show the master, what was it? It was six. six. So you were six years old when you started. <laughs> Scarface, you got your flop, man. Al Pacino, you didn't, you know, didn't do your maths, I mean, so you, you're obviously not great at maths because you were starting doing mad things from six years old. I, I, I understand that. What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't even know to do the basic mathematics. Just told you. The first time they caught me, I was 26. So after you came out, did you stop, did you stop, did you stop crime, committing crime when you came out? No, I haven't stopped committing crime. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're telling me, <laughs> you're he was on camera. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're on camera. You're mine, switching mine. yourself. I have a question for Cabin Carroll. Apart from this base squad filming, what other acting classes and shoots have you been to? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You've been on Emmerdale, haven't you? Emmerdale? Yeah. You've been on there. I think I recognise you. You're on... such a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, would you, would, you go for, would you go for him? Oh, I've, I'd eat you alive. Oh. Oh. I'd eat you too. Oh, stop it! <laughs> chill out, chill out. Yo, yo, chill out. <laughs> Let's get back on topic, Carol. I'm not interested in you. You're now cheating on me with my friends, so I'm not interested in you anymore. I want to get you out of this video. But what do you reckon? Do you, do you change your mind or are we still on, on this joke, man? I think you all have qualities that are very attractive. Yeah, you have good qualities as well. You're a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think I should be an actress? Yeah, you should be an actress. Oh. And I'm going to find out after this. So I'm voting for you, Captain <laughs> Carroll. Uh, I'll be honest, yeah, you're good vibes, so you're staying in the ground. That's enough vibes, That's enough vibes, no. I do like you, Carol. I, I have to vote for you. I'm sorry. Okay. You're not a criminal. It's a shame. It's a shame. No, it's actually a good thing you're not a criminal. Yeah. Carol, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to look for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, Carol, if there's a party, I'll shout at you. But this is not a party. We need to find a criminal. So I'm voting you out. This makes me very sad. Carol, remember, I don't vote for you, yeah? No, I'll shout at you after that. I don't vote for you. So what I need you to do is slide through. No, I can't. Bring the dice pan next time. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> Carol, it's been nice. Well, it's been lovely. You can say, you can say 80 million. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Carol. Uh, hey, Carol, before you, cook, before you go, can you just pop your number in here? <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Live on <laughs> Beta Squad Vids. <laughs> yeah, cold. Thank you very much. Yo, make sure you put it that's oh. funny. 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> she saw a black man and wrote 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> what happened? I didn't get rejected. Um, we just found out that Carol's racist. Yeah, we just found out. It's crazy. Um, so I asked her for a number. She must have not got the message. Saw a black man and wrote 999. <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. It's the final round. Time to find this convict. One question. Um, what did you do on your first day out? First day out, I went to eat a good meal. And what did you do on your first day out? Never. I went back to my mum's place and tried not to look at her. Why not? Well, I'd just come out of prison and felt like a dick. He went home, avoided his mum after he got out of prison. That doesn't make any sense. Surely you just got out of your prison, you'd want to spend time with your mum. You know, obviously your mum won't be proud of you, but it's bonding time to bond again. Why are you, why are you avoiding your own mum? I think right here what we're seeing is you're clearly reformed. Uh, you feel awful for what you did. You are just completely making it up acting like you're still doing these crimes to this day, <laughs> yeah. admitting it on camera. Who would admit that he's got, yeah. he's got him? He says you're, he still commits crimes. I, I recall correctly, you came from my intelligence, but you admitted your crimes on camera. You're, you're here bragging. Camera? Yeah. What camera? 
Um, if you turn around there, like that, that's a camera. There, there's, there's, a, there. there's a camera there as well. And there's there's camera. Right what well, did you think we were just talking, having a conversation? I could see that it was Sam. The way he's talking about stuff, he's so remorseful of his actions. It's clear as day it's him. He's not a fraud like Tony. It's him. Uh, Robert, um, how did he start the fire? It was uh, a cigarette. I just. Oh, um, whoa. Yeah. Wait. Wait. No, no he's not there. Wait, oh, wow. wait, wait. What he done there? You know, that's when you're lying, you do, that's yeah, what you, you do, bro. Touch oh, I touch myself a lot. So wait, so uh, wait. Yeah. Um, no, man. No, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, so cigarette. <laughs> yeah, cigarette thrown in the bed. Thrown in the bed? On the bed. On the bed? So that was an accident then? I don't know. Um, no, it wasn't, well, I mean, I didn't deliberately. I didn't go in there to commit arson, but I. His whole character changed. Did. See me, yeah? I've been working in the FBI for ages. I clocked when he did the. See, he was trying to lie, man. Don't wipe your nose, man. That's the basics. Now, I was convinced it was Sam, but then that's the thing with animals. They have a sixth sense, and AJ clocked it. He saw it and made us all realize. It's clearly not Sam, but we brought him to the end, which means we got it wrong. Thank you, AJ, I'll give you a treat after. Well done. Yeah. Now, I was trusting you the whole point until you did that. Just because of pure science, you are not an ex-convict. Cool, Kenny, who you wrote out, bro? Donnie Montana. Yeah. yeah. Who you wrote out? You are gone. Okay, Sharky, who you wrote out? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, Sharky? Tony. Yeah, Tony, take care, my brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, man. Take Thank care. you, man. Alright, so don't I'll be honest. I didn't vote you out, remember, yeah? Don't remember, remember I, didn't, I didn't vote you. Um, yeah, don't worry. Oh, oh my wow. God. If you saw the signal he gave the camera, yeah, he basically he, said, I'm going to deal with I'm all of you after. Just remember, I didn't I, vote for you, yeah? So, um, the ex-convict, please step forward now. I knew oh, it! Oh my I knew it! God. No. I knew it, but that's science, bro! He touched! Why you know, were you smiling all the time? Biological science! I always smile. It's oh, me. No. At the end, I caught you. At the end, I caught you. Oh, you, you, can, you can sleep proud tonight. You, <laughs> you did an incredible job. Right on, incredible the job. first man to win. Oh my gosh. Are you an actor? Yeah, well, Half of it is that I do uh, role play for the police, and this is one you. of the characters I play. Oh, no. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even blame us. They can't even blame us for that. And then wait, please, Tony. Are you Italian? Are you Italian? Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy B, what, what do you do then? I'm a counselor. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. Come on. I'm a comedian and actress. Comedian. Oh. Comedian makes oh. sense. Oh. I'm not so what your name is? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> What's the phone line? <laughs> Why not? I'm an actress <laughs> playing a role, darling. But then we have the winner. The man gone. Collect your no winnings. No one's done this yet. That? Come on. 500 pounds. So yes, we lost and Stephen then split the money with the rest of the fake convicts and yeah, we lost. We were defeated. I hate this game. 500 pounds gone. Can you tell us what you actually did now? Because it doesn't matter anymore. My name's Steve, Stephen Killen. I was once known as Britain's most dangerous prisoners. Of a, of a period of 23 plus years of organised crime, my last sentence was 17 years, of which I spent 11 years and uh, nine months as a Category A. I was released a Category A. I since come out, I transformed my life. I went on to become a globally successful entrepreneur. I'm the best-selling author of The Monkey Puzzle Tree, which is an international bestseller and is in pre-production to be a major film biopic on my life to be shot next year. Right, for the brother. I'm also a peace ambassador. And last year I was nominated for the Sunak International Peace Prize. Which is the most I I'm gonna read your book as well. Yeah, I'm gonna read your book as well. So we have lost. Absolutely devastated. But guys, comment down below who you think we should guess next. Like, subscribe. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I just wanted to say that we won't be uploading next Saturday because we're uploading on Friday, guys. See you on Christmas Day.